Hello, it's Andrea. If you noticed, I broke down and used heat on my hair today. My hair just was not cooperating with me. It didn't like me today. Well, I tried to flat iron my hair and it's still frizzy. Whenever I wear it curly for like weeks at a time and then I try to flat iron it, it's like, no. A lot of people have been asking me to do a do-it-yourself, you know, mask or treatment for acne, body acne, face acne. This one is by far my favorite. So before I got into the other ones, I wanted to put this one out there first. I really want everyone to try this. There are so many people that have tried this all over the world and they have nothing but good experiences to share. If you try this, if you don't like it, then discontinue it. But I promise your skin's not gonna melt off if it doesn't work for you. You don't need a bunch of ingredients. You don't need a bunch of tools. All you need is one thing, salt. Okay, so have you ever noticed that after swimming in the ocean or you know some kind of body of water that has salt in it, your skin looks amazing because salt is actually really good for your skin, you guys. Why am I yelling? Okay, it can reduce the size of your pores, get rid of blackheads, you know, relieve oily skin if you have oily skin. It just naturally helps heal wounds faster and that's why salt is so good for your skin. Now for the fun part, I'm gonna show you a few different ways to actually use salt to treat your acne, blackheads, etc. So put your hair up first gonna get messy. So the first method is actually steaming your face with the sea salt. Now not only is this good for your skin, but it's really good for your respiratory system as well. So all that you do is take the salt, pour it into a pot of water, let it boil, or let it get hot enough to where it's producing a lot of steam. Rest your head over it and let it do its magic. Open up your pores, get all the toxins out. If it gets too hot, just take your nose up, breathe some fresh air, and then go back in for more. Do this one to two times a week, and you'll notice an improvement, usually. The next way, I have this creepy looking rag right here. I actually cut the eyes out, and a little slit for my nose for when I wanna soak my face. This one's really easy. All you need to do is just mix some sea salt with some warm water, dip the rag in, and let it sit on your face. And you don't have to make a creepy rag like this. You can just put regular rags on your face and soak it for like 10 minutes, 15, or even longer if you want to. You can do this as much as you want to, but remember that too much salt will dry out your face. Make sure you use the moisturizer. The next method is a honey sea salt scrub. My favorite, you can use it on your body, your face, it doesn't really matter. Honey is really good for your face, it has antioxidants in it, and sea salt is really good for healing wounds. So just go ahead and mix it in a bowl, apply it to your face, and let it sit for 10, 20 minutes or so. And you can repeat a few times a week if you want to, it's up to you. One of the only cons is that sometimes when you apply salt to your face, especially if you have open wounds, it sometimes can sting a little bit. Don't worry about it, your face isn't falling off. It's just the salt working its magic. But if it's too unbearable, obviously wash it off. The stinging should go away. This next one is for if you're wanting to get rid of acne or blackheads on your body, just go ahead and fill the bath full of warm water, stir in some salt, sit in it for about 30 minutes, do this one to two times a week. And some people have noticed actually improvements within three days of doing this. And the last method I'm gonna include in this video is a salt water toner. All you do is just mix some salt water in a bottle. If you have an extra bottle lying around, perfect, use it. And spritz it on your face before you go to bed at night. This is gonna be nasty, but one girl actually said that this popped her zits for her, just spraying her face at night. So that's all I have for you today, but there's tons of recipes so you can look it up online and tons of success stories also that you can read online. So happy hunting. I wish you all the best for your beautiful skin. Talk to you later, okay, bye.